it wasn't really a success. I was basically let go. There were no tapings. There were no events. Bakit project manager ka agad? I also don't know. Hello guys! This is Juancho Trevino and welcome to my vlog. Ngayong araw, pag-uusapan natin yung post na ginawa ko a couple of months ago. This was about me working in a BPO company. This video debunks all the rumors. <laughs> it uh, it will debunk all the things, the reasons why I did it. And yes, yeah, so let's get started. What did I do? During that time, August 2020, I was just about to finish my degree in Lasal. So I sent an email to a couple of companies that I searched on Google. Nalagay ko dun, uh, business consultancy agencies around me. That was hiring. Okay, so I sent an email with my CV attached to it. Greetings, this is Juancho Trevino. I have been working with GMA since 2012. As an on-screen artist, I will attach my CV and my social media platforms for review. Recently, I have just finished my degree in DLSU for BS Entrepreneurship. I am looking to get some experience in this field since this would be my first time in the industry, I would want to offer my services as an intern and possibly as an employee soon. I want to take this opportunity to be a part of a business consultancy company and learn from you. Thank you for your consideration and best regards. So that's the email that I sent uh, to the companies. And out of the five companies that I sent that email to, may isang nag-reply sa akin. Siyempre, hindi ko na ininame yung company. But basically, he agreed to interview me and offered me a full-time role in their company. They had an upcoming project that was uh, due to commence October that year. So they had one month and a half to prepare for that project. And naramdaman niya by interviewing me that yung expertise ko kind of fit what he was looking for in a project manager. So project manager ang binigay niya sa aking title. Mamaya, <laughs> ididibang ko yung mga rumors uh, kung bakit project manager ka agad yung title na binigay niya sa akin. I started with that company August 2020. Why I did it? I was actually looking for experience during that time. Kaming dalawa ni Joyce, we were freelance. There were no tapings. There were no events. And syempre, katulad ng nakita natin, maraming businesses ang nahirapan during that time. So even our influencer work declined. We were fearful. We didn't know. There was a lot, there was a lot of uncertainty uh, hovering on our family. And we didn't know if we wanted to go abroad. We didn't know if we wanted to stay here in the Philippines. We didn't know what the industry, you know, had for us. We wanted to explore our options. So that is why I applied for work. Na kahit experience lang, makuha ko, alam mo yun, parang to try it out. To try this, this corporate life out. I had a lot of spare time and I wanted to make use of that spare time. Obviously, yung mga bills hindi pa rin tumitigil. So, that's why. Uh, those are the reasons why I did it. What I learned. Ano ba ang natutunan ko dun sa, sa boss ko? Ang pinaka-importante yung natutunan ko sa kanya is a very systematic way to go about tasks. So, na-apply ko yun kahit sa ngayon na business owner na rin ako. Uh, even in my everyday to-do lists, na-apply ko yung paano ko i-approach yung mga bagay-bagay na yun. So, isa yun sa pinaka mahalagang natutunan ko from him, uh, from the company, from my experience in general. Okay, so, isa sa mga importanteng bagay din na natutunan ko dito sa experience ko is humility. Working in the industry for 8 to 9 years in GMA, syempre very well taken care of kami. May mga perks kaming nakukuha being a, an on, on-screen talent or an artista, being shown in national television. We have mga unspoken perks and working in a corporate setting, hindi ko na experience yun. I had to do a lot of things on my own which I had no experience in. I had zero experience working for a company. I'll leave it at that. Would I do it again? Yes, I would. 
anything for my family, you know, pride aside, anything for for my family, I can't wait for opportunities that might not be there. That's why I had to make an effort, have a fallback option. How it ended after the summit. It wasn't really a success. Hindi namin na hit yung mga numbers na pin reject namin. So I was basically let go because they didn't need my services anymore. So that's how it ended. Sad ending, pero yung mga learnings sa mga nakuha ko dun, very important. Meron ako tatlong rumor na nakita dun sa mga posts that circulated around the internet when I posted this. It kind of went viral. Maraming nag-pick up. JMA News. Even other stations. Uh, and sinabi nila that I worked in a BPO company. And yes, I did. For two months. Number one. Number one rumor is, wala ka bang trabaho? Wala ka bang pera? Yes, wala kaming trabaho during that time. It was the middle of the pandemic. And it was very hard and very complicated to <laughs> to work during those times. Wala kang pera. Hindi na kami mayaman. Pero hindi naman to the point na wala kaming pera. We just wanted to be smart and not burn through our savings. Bakit project manager ka agad? Wala ka namang experience. Bakit project manager ka agad? I also don't know. I was honestly looking for an internship and, and the company gave me a project manager. Pero from my impression of it is that the company that I worked for wasn't really a big company. And they needed somebody to handle the project that they were going to do. So that's why they named me a project manager. Nobody worked for me. Medyo mag-isa ako dun sa pag-handle ng certain project na yun. Ob- Obviously, I was uh, assisted by superiors that I've had. Did I quit showbiz? No, I did not quit showbiz. Just like what I've said, I wanted to see what our options were as a family kung maga abroad ba kami, at least I had experience already in, in this particular field. So as artists naman, marami kaming mga days na wala kaming ginagawa. Katulad ng <laughs> ngayon, content creating ang task ko. We have a lot of free time. So I didn't quit showbiz. I, I looked for another option that we can take. So that's it. That's my kwento. Sana nasagot ang ilang mga katanungan na meron kayo at sana na-enjoy nyo tong video na to. You know the drill. Kapag may mga comment kayo, just comment away. I read your comments. Kapag may mga suggestions kayo on my next vlog, please do so. Lagyan nyo na sa comment section. Huwag kayo mahiya i-share tong video na to. Huwag nyo akong ikahiya. <laughs> <laughs> At syempre, continue to like my channel and my Facebook page. So once again, this is Juancho Trevino. At uh, yun lang, paalam.